Hi YouTube. Um, today I uh, have to test a grounding system, um, and I have this uh, uh, ground, um, uh, the electric ground for the house here, and here I have a meter for for doing the ground testing from uh, Fluge. It's a uh, 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 1625 uh, um, uh, uh, ground tester um, and the way you do it is that you uh, connect it up to the ground pole that is uh, on the house and then you have some uh, extra testing points uh, uh, at a certain distance from from the ground pole from the ground uh, electrode um, and then you measure the, Measure the the um, the resistance going to the ground. Um, it should be uh, um, if here in Denmark should be less than fifty volts and less than uh, sixteen hundred ohms. Uh, anything below that for normal households is is fine. Um, so today is the plan to to test that the ground rod that's uh, outside uh, in the ground uh, is connected uh, we're still working as it should be um, um i have the there's some uh, wire spools here uh, like this ones up here and some uh, uh, test sticks uh, for the ground they are outside um, i'm just filming in here because the sound is, is easier and better and, and and it's uh, easier to to do it here inside. So uh, so this is the ground tester. Um, um, a nice little uh, easy portable one. Um, it can do uh, all the poles in the ground. Uh, clamp uh, around the pole and, and all the types of uh, measurements that that we need to do. I'm only using the called the uh, tree pole uh, resist resistance uh, measurement. Um, it looks something like this, if you can see the picture here. Um, here you have the household electrode from the that's connected to the internal of the house um, and here you have two extra probes and you can see down here you place them at a, a certain distance between each other and then you make a measurement up here and it's telling you uh, by sending signals down to the to the electrodes the, this one and this one and then it's reading the signal on the center probe and then it can uh, calculate uh, how much uh, how much the resistance to ground is and and how good the electrode is so uh, yeah that's uh, basically what we are trying to go outside and do um, I have put the electrodes in the ground outside so uh, this is why they are not here um, for doing it uh, easier and for for me to remember the rules I have here uh, sorry for it in, in Danish but it's um, you can see the area the uh, here's the house uh, the ground electrode the helper it's a H and then the, the probe in the center the way you're doing is is that that you take three measurements here and then you move the probe a little and then you take three new measurements and then you move it again and you do it by the by the value up here so the distance between this one and this is 27 meters so we are doing a test at uh, 57 uh, 62 uh, 66 uh, 76 uh, percent of this 27 and this is what's correlated to 15.4 around and 16.75 and and 18.09 meters that will be the ground watch here 
So we take three measurements at each step. And then, uh, as this one down here, we take the average of all the measurements, and that's the value we get uh, for the total resistance to ground uh, at this point to, to get down there. So it's just a matter of connecting it up and, and doing the measurement. And, uh, yeah. So here's the ground test to set up to the, the house uh, electrode. And down here you can see the, the 77, 27 meters. Um, the left, the bottom one is the helper electrode. The tree one in the middle is the poles for the for the, uh, the probing electrode. Um, I've just marked them with paper so it's easier to see. And you can see there the sticks that is put into the ground, um, and then there's a wire connected to it, and going all the way back to the to the meter on the corner. So let's take the first measurement. So press start. Sometimes this test is acting. Forty one point four. Let's move the testing electrode. So this is the three points we have to do, three steps to test on, on each. Easy to unwind this one at the same time. This is the center point. Now let's take three more measurements at that point. So it's this is the electrode where we are here. And this is where we take three measurements, move it, three measurements, and move it, three measurements, and move it. And this is the helper at the far end. So here we do another test. Seems that the testing result is very close here. Yeah. 41.6. So 
now we have to move it to the last point. I will put the video camera down one moment. This is now the last point of the three points. Let's wake it up. See what this do just. Now I just have to make the average of the nine measurements and that's the result for the for the round. But I will um, so as you saw before we connected up the ground meter to the uh, earth electrode and then I had the two probes at the at the long cables um, and did uh, nine measurements three in three different locations with the center probe was moved a, a little um, to make it easier I used three different uh, test uh, rods in the ground so I just had to move the clip and don't move the uh, rod and, and so on and remember the correct location and so on so um, the ground sticks is going in Um, okay, yeah. As you can see, they are um, just uh, poles that you uh, put into the ground uh, to this level, and then you connect the, the connect uh, at this level, and then you connect the wire to here to this surface. Um, so you can see that it's the here. It's the extra testing probes there so and the result is the average is 41.55 ohm for the resistance to ground at that point uh, and it's it's the average of all the nine measurements that is up here so uh, it's a lot lower than 1600 ohms as the maximum that must be used in this uh, in this type of installation and this area uh, for the the rules are um, so the installation has passed and there's no issues um, it's a bit um, yeah if there was an issue you just uh, uh, put down an, another grounding rod uh, uh, almost next to it uh, so then you will get a lot better result so uh, there's no issues with this uh, test at this, uh, and uh, I just thought that it was uh, maybe a good idea to show how this uh, uh, ground tester is uh, used and working. Um, it's not something you do every day. It's uh, yeah, and some control locations every year, but then. Uh, resist uh, in households and so on you don't do it you do it on the installation to verify it's working and you basically only do it then again if you think there's a problem then you measure i don't know if there's other routes in other countries but uh, here in denmark uh, yeah 
that's normally not an issue but uh, now we know there's no no issue so thank you for watching bye